Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to all you new folks as well. Lots of lovely new subscribers. I really appreciate that. Um, as you can tell, I am still not on a construction site because of goddamn COVID-19. Yep, and it's sending me batty crazy. Hence why I have this stupid head attire. It has nothing to do with this video other than I'm pregnant right now and have really shit hair. Um, that has nothing to do with this video. I wanted to make this video because... A lot of you asking me questions about construction and what you would expect if you would become a land surveyor. One of the jobs that I do when I'm actually on site is land surveying, surprisingly or not. So let's get into this video and I can talk you through my day. So land surveying, what is land surveying? Well, it is surveying the land. Yes, weren't expecting that, were you? Uh, no, jokes aside, it's effectively when you go out with a piece of kit, normally known as like a GPS, which is what I use, and you pick up specific coordinates and levels across a job so that when you import that information onto a computer, it draws pretty much what you'd expect to see on a map on a construction drawing really hope that made sense. I'm not the best at explaining these things. I normally spend probably like three days out of my week doing land surveying, so that's what I'm going to talk you through today. I've had to use some old footage because obviously I'm not on site, but bear with me as I've hashed together some footage and we're going to go through a daily life of a land surveyor. Okay, so normally like the day before or even the night before, I might get an email through from the client um, expressing their wishes as to what they want doing the next day during the survey. So I normally spend some time checking out that email and writing down some notes on what it is exactly they want. Okay, so you might be thinking, what type of notes are you writing, Michelle? I'm writing down specifically station coordinates. So if we're going to a survey and they want the survey done on a local system, then um, sometimes I'm going to have to convert from a global to a local, especially if I'm using GPS. So what I'll do is I'll ask for historical data for the site that I'm going on, if they have any. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they just want a global survey doing. Um, but if they do want local, like I say, I will grab um, their local coordinates, which should relate to two stations or three stations on site, and then I make sure that I have that information so that when I get to site, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and um, I can get set up as soon as possible, ready to do the survey on a local format. So it's morning time the next day. I'll get up super early, depending on where the location is, and um, just get myself prepared. I'll have some breakfast, um, a cup of tea. I might not even have time for breakfast. I might just load up the kit in the back of the truck and basically get on the road. So once I've met with the client and they're happy with pretty much everything that they want me to do and I'm happy, then it's just a case of cracking on with the job. to show here is just me walking around getting points um, into the kit so that when I go back home or if I go back into the office I'm ready to upload that information and produce the drawing. So the one thing that I want to mention here when you do a site survey um, your client or who you're doing the survey for will let you know what it is that they want picked up Sometimes it's everything, sometimes it's just little pieces. So on this job, I've been asked to pick up the gas lines. And on a landfill, you drill down really deep and the old existing waste creates a lot of gas. And this is then uh, brought up through the gas system into the main lines and then sent to a gas generator where it creates energy, which is pumped back into the national grid. Not many people know that. Actually, landfills are pretty useful. Um, but just to give you an idea, guys, these are the pipes I'll be picking up today. So you can see there, the gas lines. 
Now, this is the one thing that I want to mention about doing surveying, is that it's really important that you um, kind of do a little bit of a mind map when you arrive on site or even before you start your surveying. And what I mean by mind map is, in your head, think about the best way to do the survey. So it might be to start at one end of the site and work your way back. Or for example, doing these gas lines, it's actually better for me to start doing the main line. And then once I'm working across that main line, come back and um, all the offshoots from that main line, catch those individually as I work my way back. At the end of the day, I'll pack up all my belongings, make sure that I've got everything, return back to the offices. If the client's still there, maybe have a talk with them. Um, and if not, I'll just sign out and shoot back to the office. This was only half a day surveying, so this gives me the opportunity to get back into the office that afternoon whilst everything about the survey is fresh in my mind and really start to uh, take the information off the kit and get it down into the drawing. The quicker you can do this, the better. Sometimes you have to, if you're really busy, you might go and do a survey and then you have to leave it a couple of days before you process that survey. This can be really tricky because you might have made notes of things that you've picked up and you kind of forget what they are. Um, so I always like to get back into the office and even if it means just taking the information off the kit and having it on hard drive, at least I know it's safe and that I've got the survey there ready for processing later on, um, rather than just keeping it on the kit and you never know, things can get deleted. It's just like any other computer. So like I said, I'm back in the office. I'm bringing all the information off my kit onto my computer and that's where I use my software. So I know that you're probably wondering what software do I use? I use LSS survey software to take all the coordinates information in and I process that and I try and get a good map out of the job and the survey that I've done. And then once I have that, I'll be then putting it into CAD to formulate it into a proper drawing to then send over to the client. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry this has been a bit of a, a hash video, but hopefully it will give you some indication of what a day in the life of a land surveyor is like. I didn't go into specifics because there's always other videos to do on that and I can get into the nitty gritty of software, etc. But I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it slightly useful and, um, I'll be back super soon, maybe with this crazy headband, maybe not.